Welcome to the Excel tip video from Excel and Cat. My name is Ajay Anand. In this video, we will discuss about the different errors in Excel. One of the few things which can create confusion when you start using Excel is a formula error. But once you get familiar with the different error codes in Excel, formula errors will no longer be a problem because each of this error code is having a specific meaning and this error code acts as a hint or a clue to troubleshoot a wrongly written formula. For example, division error says you are trying to divide a number with zero, which is not possible. Similarly, value error says you are using a data type in a wrong way and that is not acceptable. So let's go through the different errors in Excel and see how to troubleshoot them. Division error. When you try to divide a number with zero, Excel will return a division error. See the formula in the cell with division error c5 divided by d5. So we are trying to divide 30 with 0 and that's why Excel is returning a division error. Let me change the value here. We'll make it 2 and the division error is gone. We have one more cell having division error c7 divided by d7. Excel interprets the value in the blank cells as 0. So 300 divided by 0 results in a division error. We'll enter a value here, 1.5, and the division error is gone. Name error. Excel will return a name error when it cannot recognize the function or the named range used in a formula. See the formula here. Here the sum function has been misspelled as sum a. So let me delete this letter a. Now it has become some function. When I press the enter key, name error is gone. a v e is not a valid Excel function. We'll make it average. Press the enter key and the name error is gone. The third example. Here I have used a name called v a l inside max function. But if you see the Excel name box, this worksheet has only one name range and it is values. And the name range called values refer to these cells here. So let's change the name to values. Press the enter key. Name error is gone and max function returned the largest value from this list. So spelling mistake is one of the main reasons for name error in Excel. Not available error. Lookup functions like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, INDEX, MATCH, etc. will return a not available error when it cannot find the lookup value specified in that function. See this formula here. We are using VLOOKUP function for extracting the gross salary of the employee name specified here. Right now it's Peter. We'll type in Tony. We have the salary of Tony. And when I use a name that is not present in this list, for example, Tara, the function will return a not available error. Bruce. Once again, a name that is not present in the list. Number error. The use of invalid numbers in formulas result in number error. Let's see three examples of number error. 9.9 9 into 10 raised to 307. This is the largest number which we can enter in Excel. If you try to enter a number which is greater than this number, number error will be the result. Now the negative version of the same number. Minus 9.9 9 into 10 raised to 307. When you try to enter a number which is smaller than this number, the result will be number error. Now the second example. Excel cannot handle imaginary numbers. Square root of a negative number is an imaginary number. So when you try to create an imaginary number, number error will be the result. Now the third example. Date function in Excel is used to find the 
difference between two dates in days, years or months. See the syntax of date function. There are three arguments. Start date, end date and the code for the format in which we want the difference. In this date function, if you use an end date which is older than the start date, number error will be the result. See the dates here. Start date is 22nd of January 2020. End date is 28th of October 2019. That means end date is older than start date. So when we use these two dates inside date D function, number error will be the result. Value error. Wrong use of data types result in value error. For example, if you try to add or subtract two text strings, or if you try to add or subtract a number from a text string, value error will be the result. Another scenario. If you use text strings inside date, time and trigonometric functions, value error will be the result. Reference error. Reference error appears when a cell reference, range reference or a sheet reference become invalid. This can happen when you delete a row, column or a sheet referred in a formula. See this formula here. This formula is referring to the cell D10 of the worksheet called example. Now when I delete this worksheet, the sheet reference in the formula became invalid and the formula is returning a reference error. Now the second example. Here some function is returning the sum of values present in six cells above the cell containing formula. Now let's copy this formula. We'll paste it here. Again some function is returning sum of values present in six cells above the cell containing formula. Once again copy the formula. We'll paste it here. This time the formula is returning a reference error. The reason being there are only three cells above the cell containing formula. Now the third example. See the formulas in the column E. C3 into D3. C5 into D5. C7 into D7. That means value in the column C is multiplied with the value in the column D. Now when I delete this column D, The second reference in the formulas became invalid and the formulas are returning reference error. Null error. When we use the intersection operator between two data ranges that doesn't intersect, Excel will return null error. First of all, let me show you how the intersection operator works in Excel. Suppose you want to find the value common to these two data ranges, that is C5 to C10 and b7 to d7 equal select the first data range c5 to c10 space is the intersection operator in excel space select the second data range b7 to d7 when i press the enter key formula returned excel which is the value in the cell common to these two data ranges Now let's use this intersection operator between two data ranges that doesn't intersect b5 to b10 and d5 to d10 equal select the first data range b5 to b10 space select the second data range d5 to d10 when i press the enter key formula returned a null error because these two data ranges doesn't intersect now some common cases of null error. In this sum function here, I have used space instead of colon. So Excel is evaluating this space as intersection operator and is returning a null error because these two references doesn't intersect. 
So let's replace this space with colon. Press the enter key and null error is gone. Another formula where I have used space instead of comma. Let's replace the space with comma. And null error is gone. Spill error. Spill error is related to the dynamic array formulas in Excel. Let's see an example of spill error. To create a list of distinct values from this data, in other words to remove the duplicates from this data, I will use one of the dynamic array functions in Excel. Equal unique function. Select the cells containing data. Press the enter key. And we have the list of distinct values from this data. But when I use the same formula in this cell, equal, unique, select the cells containing data, press the enter key, the formula is returning a spill error. Let me explain the reason for this spill error. This blue border here is the spill range of this formula. That is the range of cells into which the formula will spill the values. But due to this value here, in other words, due to this blockage here, the formula is not able to spill the values into the spill range. Now to get rid of this spill error, we have to remove this blockage. Let me delete this value. Spill error is gone and the formula is spilling values into the spill range. Once again, we have two values in the spill range. Let me delete the values. The formula spilled values into the spill range. Calc error. Excel will return a calc error when you try to perform a calculation that is not supported by the calculation engine of Excel. For example, formulas that produce empty array will result in calculation error. Let me show you what I mean. See, we have a sample sales data here. Now I want to extract all those records that are related to this product called Bounty. For that, equal filter function, select the entire data, comma, second argument include, we are looking for the records related to Bounty, select the cells containing product names, equal double quotes, Bounty, double quotes. When I press the enter key, we have all those records related to Bounty. For the records of Snickers, but when I use a product name that is not listed here, for example, Galaxy, this formula will produce an empty array which will result in calc error. When I press the enter key, formula returned calc error. Let's try mass. Now let me show you some more instances where Excel will return calculation error. Nested array array of ranges, too many cells, etc. Field error. Field error is related to rich data types also known as linked data types in Excel. See this data here. We have some place names that are converted into geography data type and some stock names that are converted into stocks data type. And in column C, we have this information that are extracted from these data types using corresponding fields. Let me show you how this is done. For example, for the population of Mexico, equal, select the cell containing Mexico. And these are the different fields corresponding to geography data type. For population, I will select this field called population. When I press the enter key, we have the population of Mexico. Similarly, equal, we'll select a stocks data type. And these are the different fields of stocks data type. 
will select volume we have the volume of this particular stock here when you combine a data type with a field that doesn't apply to that particular data type excel will return a field error for example the field called population has nothing to do with stocks data type equal we'll select a stock data type dot population when i press the enter key excel returned a field error similarly the field called volume doesn't apply to geography data type equal we'll select a geography data type dot volume and excel will return a field error next one is technically not an error but commonly misinterpreted as one see the series of hash signs here when we use a date or a number that is longer than the width of a cell that cell will display a series of hash signs so to get rid of the hash signs increase the column width if error function we have seen the different errors in excel and know how to troubleshoot them but there can be cases in which we cannot avoid the formulas producing errors for example this vlookup function will return a not available error if we supply a lookup value that is not present in this table array tara and the function returned not available error to trap these kind of errors and to return a custom value we can use the if error function in excel in the formula bar before we look up function if error the existing formula will become the first argument of if error function comma second argument value if error that is the value to return if the first part evaluates to an error we'll use the text excel and get double quotes excellent cat double quotes close parenthesis and when i press the enter key formula returned excellent cat let's try a value that is present in the lookup array steve we have the salary of steve another value that is not present in the table array formula returned the custom value and if error function can trap all those errors in excel we have division error here if error comma value of error double quotes hyphen space hyphen space hyphen double quotes close parenthesis and press the enter We'll drag the formula into the downward cells. So those are the most common errors in Excel. I really hope you got something new from this video. And if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel so that you won't miss any future video releases. Thanks for watching. Wish you a great day.